Welcome back. In today's Sunday Spotlight, summer, it's coming. It's four weeks from today, and already with the spring warm-ups, Connecticut state parks are filling up fast. Last year at this time, there were COVID limitations in place, so what can we expect this year? DEEP Commissioner Katie Dykes is here to tell us about that. Commissioner, thanks for being with us. So let's start with that. What can people expect from our state parks this year? Well, Eric, thanks so much for having me on this morning. And uh, folks can expect that uh, we're getting back to the new normal uh, at our state parks and state forests all across the state. We kept our state parks open all throughout the pandemic, and we saw a 50% increase in the number of people who were out enjoying our parks, rediscovering uh, great places to get outdoors safely with their families. This summer going forward, because of all the progress that you know, folks have made with mask wearing, with getting vaccinated, uh, and, and the public health guidelines are supporting us to relax some of those COVID restrictions even further. So uh, this summer we can expect that if you're outdoors, you know, enjoying time at the beach, um, you know, you can uh, uh, take the mask off uh, if you're if you've been vaccinated. Uh, following that uh, guideline, those guidelines from DPH, we're not going to be requiring uh, that distancing on the beach uh, or or mask wearing if you're vaccinated. But recommend everyone go get vaccinated if you want to be uh, enjoying time outside. This is the safest thing that you can do for your family. Get the vaccine, and if you haven't been vaccinated, or if you have kids you know, who can't get vaccinated, for example, um, continue wearing that mask. We really recommend that and maintain that social distance. And of course, when you are, need to use our facilities, uh, our visitor centers, for example, are gonna be reopening around Memorial Day weekend, um, our bathhouses and other indoor spaces, we're still gonna be asking everyone to keep your mask on, whether you're vaccinated or not, wear your mask when you're, when you're indoors. But the bottom line is, you know, getting outside is one of the safest things you can do. Um, and with a vaccine on top of it, this is a time that we can all enjoy being outdoors and uh, the special places that we have across the state. Well, I can tell you, I live about 10 minutes from Rocky Neck and I think my dog would, we'd pull up and she'd be like, we're here again? Because that was all we did for about a year was go walk uh, at Rocky Neck. A lot of people said the same thing. Did you hear that from people that that finding that park, whatever was close to your house, was the was the thing to do because we didn't have anything else to do? Well, absolutely. We saw even though we had to put some restrictions in place for the amount of you know parking uh, and folks that we could welcome to our parks for social distancing, we still uh, welcomed more visitors last year in places, uh, especially our shoreline parks, than ever before. And so that investment that we've been making in our uh, in our public places, over 110 state parks, 32 state forests, you know, all of that investments we've made in protecting those places over these years um, really paid off last year. And so for everyone who you know enjoyed that time outdoors hey, keep coming back. You know, now that you've discovered these great places there with, we have a park within 15 minutes drive of every man, woman, and child in this state. And they're here for you. And we don't, because of the Passport to Parks program, we don't charge for parking at any of our state parks for Connecticut residents. So um, if you connected with the park and, and, uh, and made uh, hiking or time at the beach uh, part of your family routine, we hope you'll keep that up um, as we go into this summer. It's, it's, a, it's a great, it's a healthy thing uh, that you can do for your family. Now we say back to normal and of course uh, back to normal at places like Rocky Neck and Hammonasset means those uh, alerts going out at like 7 a.m. on Saturday morning saying the parking lots are all full. Explain that mm -hmm. to people. How does that process happen? Because that's something that if you are planning to visit one of those shoreline parks, especially in the summer, you got to think about, right? Definitely. If you see that forecast, you know, of hot, um, hot weather coming, you can be sure that those popular parks are going to be filling up. So plan ahead. Um, come early and have a plan B. Uh, if you uh, find that the park that you wanted to go to is filled, we have other parks within uh, nearby areas. And we have a portal online called What's Open Outdoors CT. So you can check our website and find real-time information available about um, those uh, shoreline parks uh, and, and uh, parks with um, inland swimming available that uh, fill up early. So, so that's a great place to check before you go. Now, what about some of the other things uh, like campgrounds and other activities? Is pretty much everything back to status quo at this point? Yeah, our, our campgrounds have all been uh, opening up uh, on normal schedule this spring. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, boat launches that we operate all around the state. You'd be amazed, Eric, how many people uh, got into boating last year. Huge increase in boat sales 
and uh, a lot of activity on the water. So we encourage folks to enjoy that. We have a lot of special uh, places around the state to do that, but do it safely. Uh, you know, wear your wear your uh, uh, personal flotation device and uh, and and um, be safe when you're out on the water as well. Now, with all this uh, rush to the parks, uh, you have a lot of seasonal staff, I know, in your agency. How are you doing finding things like lifeguards and parking attendants and things like that? Is that process already underway? Yeah, we've been uh, spending extra time getting the word out about these fantastic employment opportunities for seasonal park staff. Um, at DEEP, you can find out more information on our website. We're still hiring. We'd love to recruit more lifeguards, uh, especially this summer. But these are great opportunities for folks to spend, you know, your summer um, uh, working for the state, working outdoors. Uh, we have a terrific mission. You know, you'd be amazed how many folks uh, get their start uh, working at DEEP as a seasonal and then join our ranks uh, for later in their career as full-time employees. So it's a great, it's a great path to getting involved in our mission, helping protect natural resources and promote outdoor recreation. So encourage people to check out the website. We are absolutely still hiring. So we'd love to, to have more folks apply. Commissioner, we have 30 seconds left. Give us, we all know Ham and Asset. We know Rocky Neck, Silver Sands. Give us one sleeper pick for the park we should visit this summer. <laughs> um, I love Stratton Brook. It's not too far from where I live. Um, uh, up uh, up uh, outside of Hart Hartford, also uh, Gay City in Hebron is great. Uh, Undiscovered Gem. Um, I'll also love Devil's Hop Yard. A lot of great water features there that my kids enjoy. So, right. but we have they're all listed on our website. 110 parks, and um, you know we also have a thing called the Sky's the Limit Challenge. We're, we're all out of time, so we're going to send people to your website to check that out. They'll be visiting Commissioner Katie Dykes. Thanks for being with us. If Thank you'd like you. to share your thoughts about our topics this morning, you can send us an email. CT21 at WFSB.com is our address. And that is CT21 for this week. CBS Sunday Morning with Jane Pauley is next. Have a great rest of your weekend. For some reason, we're in Studio B today, but we'll meet you back in Studio A next Sunday morning. Thanks for watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.